Hello, this is uh, Yogesh Amar, an electronics engineer. Today, I will just uh, walk through a TVS diode data sheet quickly. This is a TVS diode from Little Fuse uh, 1.5 SMC series. SMC stands for the size of this TVS diode. Uh, it's uh, available in unidirectional and uh, bidirectional. Okay, uh, so it's uh, features and benefits. Uh, it's a uh, 1.5 kilowatt peak power capability at 10 by 1000 microsecond waveform. Repetition rate duty cycle of 0.01%. It has excellent clamping capability, low incremental surge resistance, typical IR less than 1 microampere when V breakdown minimum is greater than 12 volt. Blah, blah, blah. Built-in strain relief, typical failure mode is short from over specified voltage or current. Okay, what else? Uh, interesting. Fast response time, typically less than one picoseconds from zero volt to BV min. Glass passivated jib junction, what is that for? High temperature to reflow soldering. Guaranteed 260 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds, fine. Breakdown voltage at junction temperature equals to breakdown at 25 degrees Celsius into 1 plus alpha T into Tj minus 25. Okay, where is alpha T is temperature coefficient. Typical value is 0.1%. Uh, Okay, is alpha positive or negative? That will decide uh, uh, whether uh, the breakdown voltage at higher temperature is going to be higher. I think alpha is positive for TVS diodes. Plastic package is flammability rated V0, UL94 V0. All right, that's all, it's lead free. And uh, maximum ratings and thermal characteristics uh, specified at ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, unless otherwise noted. So the peak pulse power dissipation is uh, 1.5 kilowatt, uh, measured using 10 by 1000 microseconds test waveform. All right, there is a note one, note two, it's for single die parts. Are there multiple die parts? We have to see. Yes, uh, there are. I think if it's a multiple die part, it can handle 3 kilowatt probably. Peak pulse power dissipation, figure 2 by 10 by 1000 microseconds test waveform, figure 4, note 1, note 2. Stacked die parts, sorry, it's 2 kilowatt for stacked die parts. Power dissipation on infinite heat sink at lead temperature of 50 degrees Celsius is 6.5 watt. Uh, nobody can give an infinite heat sink. Peak forward surge current, 8.3 milliseconds, single off sine wave, it's 200 amps, okay. Maximum instantaneous forward voltage at 100 amps for unidirectional only, it's 3.5 volt. What is 5 volt here? Note 4, operating temperature range is minus 65 to 150 degrees Celsius. Is it junction? Yes, it is junction. Storage temperature range is minus 65 to 175 degrees Celsius. Uh, typical thermal resistance junction to lead is just 15 degrees Celsius per watt. Typical thermal resistance junction to ambient is 75 degrees Celsius per watt. But it is when mounted on what surface they have been given. All right. Notes, non-repetitive current pulse per figure 4 and derated above Tj of 25 degrees Celsius per figure 3. Mounted on copper pad area of 0.31 inch to 0.31 inch, which is 8 mm to 8 mm to each terminal. Okay, 8 mm by 8 mm, 64 square mm pad for each terminal. Measured on 8.3 milliseconds, single off sine wave or equivalent square wave for unidirectional device only. Duty cycle is 4 per minute maximum. Okay. Okay, that's 4 in 60 seconds, uh, so 1 in 15 seconds. So, what is 1 by 15? 1 by 10 is 0.1, so 1 by 15 should be 0 0.066. So, the duty cycle is 6.6%. 6 
VF uh, less than 3.5 volt for single die parts and VF less than 5 volt for stack uh, die parts. Ah, here it is. So the forward voltage is going to be higher for stack die parts and uh, it's going to be lower for single die parts. Uh, okay. For stack die components, please refer to part numbers labeled by asterisk in electrical characteristics. Applications, TBS devices are ideal for protection of I.O. interfaces, VCC bus and other value vulnerable circuits used in telecom, computer, industrial and consumer electronics applications. Why not aerospace automotive applications? Huh? I think they it's used in automotive and aerospace applications as well. So this is the symbol of the bidirectional TVS diode and this is the symbol of the unidirectional TVS diode. So there's no anode and cathode for bidirectional. Okay, so what do we have next? Electrical characteristics. Ambient temperature is 25 degrees Celsius unless otherwise noted. We have the part number. Oh, this is for unidirectional, part number for bidirectional. Marking, what's the marking on the TVS diodes for unidirectional and bidirectional? So if it is A, it is unidirectional and if it is C, A, it's bidirectional. Marking is uh, C for bidirectional and A for unidirectional. We have reverse standoff voltage, V, R, breakdown voltage, V, B, R at I, T. That is the test current, I, T. Maximum clamping voltage VC at IPP and maximum peak pulse current IPP. Maximum reverse leakage current IR at VR and VR is reverse standoff voltage. All right, agency approval RU. Hmm, what is that? Huh? Hmm, European Union, probably. Okay, so now uh, we have 1.5 SMC 6.8A which is uh, a TVS diode with reverse standoff voltage of 5.8 volt and uh, breakdown voltage uh, min is given, max is given. So nominal should be the average of the two. So it's a uh, difference is uh, uh, 0.7. So divided by two is 0 0.35. So 6.45 plus 0 0.35 is 6.8 so the average is 6.8 oh that's the reason why it's a 6.8 volt tvs uh, diode uh, and uh, the breakdown voltage at 6.8 volt the test uh, the current that is going through the tvs diode is 10 milliamps and uh, it at 6.45 also it can flow 10 milliamp at 7.14 also 10 milliamp can flow so that's uh, it's the part to part variation that's the tolerance of the breakdown voltage. And what is reverse standoff voltage? Reverse standoff voltage is uh, that voltage at which uh, there is very less uh, uh, reverse current, which is 1000 microampere. Ah, that's uh, pretty high, but uh, that is for a low voltage TVS diode. But for, say, the 13 volt TVS diode, it is less. So the rule of uh, the design rule of thumb here is uh, this particular TVS diode 1.5 SMC 6.8A has to be used in an application uh, wherein under normal operating conditions the voltage acro applied across this TVS diode is less than 5.8 volt. Okay and then what is uh, clamping voltage? Uh, clamping voltage although the breakdown voltage is uh, 6.8 uh, as we put uh, more and more current through the TVS diodes uh, because of its uh, dynamic resistance uh, it will uh, voltage will increase and uh, at 144.8 amps it is 10.5 uh, volt is the clamping voltage and uh, as we saw earlier it is 10 by 1000 microsecond waveform and uh, by the way, why is this a 1.5 kilowatt TVS diode? It's uh, because 10.5 into 144.8 is 1500, isn't it? That's why uh, I it's a 1.5 kilowatt TVS diode. And the product of all of these numbers, it will yield uh, 1.5 kilowatt, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, definitely. 
cool uh now uh, we have some notes uh the asterisk uh, ones are the stacked uh, die parts uh, they have uh, 2 kilowatt power rating but the drawback is uh, higher forward voltage okay notes uh, for bidirectional type having vr of 10 volts and less the ir limit is double mm. oh okay this is the reverse leakage current is double for vr of 10 volt and less is it so for vr of 10 volt uh, where is vr ah uh, here of 10 volt or less uh, it's doubling 5 10 microampere 10 to 15 50 to 200 200 to 500 500 to 1000 uh, yeah it's approximately double it's fine for parts without a the vbr is plus or minus 10% and vc is 5% higher than with a parts the parts without a are currently available but not recommended for new designs the, the parts with a are preferred for stack type parts use star to label the part number what are those parts without a where are they where are they are there any parts without uh, a uh there are no parts without a okay fine okay uh, current voltage curve characteristics uh, unidirectional bidirectional unidirectional in the forward bias condition it will act like a diode and the reverse bias condition it will act like a uh, zener isn't it yeah so it has a uh, reverse standoff voltage uh, reverse breakdown voltage and clamping voltage so four voltages for a tvs diode forward voltage reverse voltage breakdown voltage sorry reverse standoff voltage uh, sorry sorry forward voltage reverse uh, standoff voltage breakdown voltage and clamping voltage peak pulse power dissipation maximum power dissipation standoff volt reverse standoff voltage maximum voltage that can be applied to the tvs without operation cool vbr breakdown voltage maximum voltage that flows through the tvs at a specified test current clamping voltage peak voltage measured across the tvs at a specified peak pulse impulse current reverse leakage current current measured at vr and forward voltage drop for unidirectional all right ratings and characteristics at ambient temperature of 25 degrees celsius unless otherwise specified tvs transient clamping waveform so <coughs> excuse me voltage or current is on the y axis x axis is time and the voltage transient is like this and then the tvs diode will clamp like this and the current waveform is like this so as we can see the current will start rising only after the breakdown voltage is uh, 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 reverse breakdown voltage is crossed and then it has a dynamic resistance so the voltage continues to increase and uh, the current has stopped but uh, the voltage is continued to increase probably that's due to the positive temperature coefficient of the breakdown voltage right and then uh, as the current uh, decreases oh here here there is lot of power that is getting dissipated so lot of temperature will be there and then as the voltage is decreasing power is decreasing so this uh, clamp voltage is also decreasing all right so we have peak pulse power rating peak pulse power pulse width is in milliseconds and uh, okay this is a logarithmic graph right both x axis as well as the y axis and uh, both the curves here are parallel and junction temperature initial is equal to ambient so single die 1.5 kW at 10 by 1000 microseconds 25 degree celsius so 0.01 millisecond is 10 microseconds so at 10 microseconds Oh, what is the power rating? Ten by thousand microsecond. Thousand microsecond is one millisecond. One millisecond is year. At one millisecond, this is one point five kilowatt, and this is two kilowatt. 
All right. Pulse width is uh, one millisecond and it's one point five kilowatt. And pulse width is one millisecond, and this is uh, two kilowatt. Okay, so but it's not a rectangular pulse, right? Uh, but still, that's the way they call it, right? So what if it's a rectangular pulse? Then probably the rating is lower. We cannot take it as one millisecond. Probably it's 0 0.5 millisecond. Where is 0.15 milliseconds? 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millisecond. It's what? It's a two kilowatt. No. If it's a rectangular pulse of one millisecond, then it should be two milliseconds. So then it's equivalent to one kilowatt. Okay, so we have a peak pulse power derating curve. Okay, about junction temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, uh, we need to derate on the peak pulse power of 1.5 kilowatt. All right, uh, derate it up to 60%. Okay, pulse waveform, yeah, it's a uh, rise time is 10 microsecond, off peak time is 1000 microsecond, 1 millisecond. So if I put a square waveform of one millisecond, a pulse of one millisecond, then it cannot handle 1.5 kilowatt. Then it can probably handle one kilowatt only. Isn't it? Yeah, the duration, I, we saw it was two millisecond. So for two millisecond, it was able to handle one kilowatt. So, a triangle we form probably we have to take it as a triangle it's up to 50 percent and then take another 50 percent a year and then so it's 25 percent above 50 percent so 75 percent so yeah if it's one millisecond we are applying 75 percent of 1.5 kilowatt uh, okay typical junction capacitance uh, C junction peak of red, what's happening here? Unidirectional TVS diodes have more junction capacitance than bidirectional TVS diodes at zero volt. And uh, they are more or less the same when a reverse voltage is applied. Or uh, there is an inflection point somewhere in between. Huh? Okay. So junction capacitance is pretty high. We cannot uh, put this big TVS doors for high speed communication signals, otherwise they will load the communication bus. So, okay, the good part is higher the voltage, uh, lower is the capacitance. So, uh, a TVS diode is nothing but a PN junction diode, so there will be junction capacitance. So. Typical transient thermal impedance. So transient thermal impedance is degree Celsius per watt. Pulse duration. All right. Uh, pulse duration. Um, oh, okay. This is what uh, we wanted, doesn't it? Uh, if it is a uh, one millisecond pulse duration, it is 0 0.1 degree Celsius per watt. Okay. If it is. Uh, one millisecond, one second pulse duration, it is one, two, three, four, five degrees Celsius per watt. And if it is a long pulse duration, then it is uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 degrees Celsius per watt. Okay, where did this 70 degrees Celsius per watt come? Probably it was from the beginning. Is it a junction to ambient or junction to lead? This, uh, why didn't they give it here? I don't know. Okay. Maximum non-repetitive peak forward surge current unidirectional only. Okay. Non-repetitive means uh, once, uh, once in a rare occasion. Peak forward surge current. Oh, this is for the diode. Oh. Number of cycles at 60 hertz. 60 hertz is what 20 millisecond or uh, 50 hertz is 20 millisecond and 60 hertz is less than 20 millisecond. Okay, 1 by 6 uh, is uh, 
पॉइंट वन सिक्स सिक्स और पॉइंट वन एट थ्री एटीन पॉइंट थ्री मिली सेकेंड प्रोबली सो पिक फॉरवर्ड वोल्टेज ड्रॉप वर्स पिक फॉरवर्ड करेंट टिपिकल वैल्यूज पिक फॉरवर्ड करेंट सिंगल डाई स्टैक डाई पिक फॉरवर्ड वोल्टेज ओके पिक फॉरवर्ड करेंट फॉरवर्ड वोल्टेज ओके हायर इज द करेंट हायर इज द वोल्टेज ओके डज इट फॉलो द थम रूल दैट फॉर ए पी एन जंक्शन डेवर्ड द फॉरवर्ड वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इंक्रीजेस बाय सिक्सटी मिली वोल्ट फॉर एवरी टेन टाइम्स इंक्रीज इन फॉरवर्ड करेंट हाँ वी हैव टू सी दैट यार आई थिंक टिल यर इट फॉलोज बट देन वाई इट इंक्रीज सो ड्रास्टिकली अबो दैट ओके आई थिंक इट इज गुड फॉर सम टू हंड्रेड एम्स ओनली आफ्टर वर्ड्स इट बिकम्स वेरी हाई ऑल राइट रिफ्लो कंडीशन लेट फ्री असेंबली प्री ईट वन फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्शियस टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी टू वन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स थ्री डिग्री सेल्शियस थ्री डिग्री सेल्शियस पर सेकेंड मैक्स टू सेवेंटीन डिग्री सेल्शियस सिक्सटी टू वन फिफ्टी सेकेंड्स टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्शियस थर्टी सेकेंड्स सिक्सटी डिग्री फिजिकल स्पेसिफिकेशंस पॉइंट जीरो 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 सेवन आउंस पॉइंट टू वन ग्राम्स केस डीओ टू फोर्टी डीओ टू फोर्टीन बी एस एम सी टाइप मोल्डेड प्लास्टिक बॉडी ओवर ग्लास पैसिफेटेड जंक्शन वाई ग्लास पैसिफेटेड जंक्शन आई थिंक प्रोबली इट्स टू प्रिवेंट आकिंग एट द रेटेड वोल्टेजेस टू प्रिवेंट आकिंग प्रोबली कलर बैंड डिनोट्स पॉजिटिव कैथोड बाई डायरेक्शनल टी वी एस डिनोट्स हैव नो कैथोड बैंड मैट टिन प्लेटेड लीड्स सोल्डरेबल पर जे एस डी ट्वेंटी टू बी वन नॉट टू एनवायरमेंटल स्पेसिफिकेशन साइट टेम्परेचर स्टोरेज एच टी आर बी वट इज एच टी आर बी टेम्परेचर साइक्लिंग मॉइस्चर सेंसिटिविटी लेवल एच थ्री टी आर बी आर एस एच हम आई गॉड आई डोट नो ऑल दिस थिंग्स Dimensions uh, A B C D E F G H I J K L represents different aspects here. So, what is the overall dimension C? Is uh, what five point five nine to six point two. So, it's some um, five point nine mm, and B is uh, six point nine mm probably five point nine by six point nine. Let's round it off to six by seven mm. Six by seven mm size uh, can handle one point five kilowatt, and uh, sorry, six point seven mm can handle one point five kilowatt is what I said. Yes, part numbering system, one point five stands for one point five kilowatt. SMC stands for size, isn't it? XXX stands for uh, breakdown voltage. That's the six point eight volt for the first device. C if it is bidirectional a five percent VBR voltage tolerance oh a means five percentage VBR voltage tolerance we saw earlier if a is not there probably it was given ten percent isn't it part na marking system cathode band little fuse logo marking code trace code marking year code month code lot code okay. uh and then packaging it's uh, in a tape and drill of uh, 13 inch reel which holds 3000 quantity tape and drill specification cathode marking okay and then that's it so why why forward voltage specifications are important uh it is important uh, because uh, sometimes uh, when we connect it across inductive loads uh, uh when we turn off the uh, when there is sudden interruption in the flow of current in the inductor it, the inductor continues to wants to continue to drive current so in that case if uh, this tvs diode is in parallel to the inductor then it will get forward biased but uh, anyways uh, A TVS diode is very fast. It can handle lot of power. And uh, one question: Say, 
one TBS dude is equivalent to how many MOSFETs? Do a TBS dude can uh, handle an energy which is uh, equal to how much a 10 number of MOSFETs in parallel can handle? Probably yes. All right. Uh, thank you for your patience. Hope uh, this helped in a little bit. <laughs>